Okay, uh, what I'm going to show you in this video is uh, how to quickly uh, free up some memory resources and get yourself back to square one when you've got loads and loads of images open, perhaps on multiple machines uh, with multiple partitions, etc. etc. So, I'm just going to create a new case quickly. So I'm going to add some images to it. I'll add these two. So you'll notice that when you click on a partition in an image, what happens over here is the appropriate tab for that image is open. So at the minute I've got these three open. If I click on that one, we get another tab open. And when we click on that one, another tab, each one relating to the traversed partition of each particular image. Each one of these tabs that's open uses a, a fairly efficient amount of memory, but an amount of memory nonetheless. So if you've got lots and lots of images in here, in fact, let's just open another one. Uh, in here, there's a VHD image of a Windows 7 box. So again, that's quite a bigger machine. Open a new tab at the end. So now we've got quite a few tabs open uh, with a total amount of file items of nearly 100,000. Not much in the grand scheme of things, certainly nowhere near X-Race Forensics limit. Uh, but each of these will be using an amount of memory. If we just look for a, a second at what the memory usage is here. X-Ray Forensics is only using 20 meg, which is not much, but what we should hopefully see is uh, a couple of ways of closing all of these across here. Notice we've got the case there and the appropriate tabs for it that are open so far across there. One way of closing each of these is merely by right-clicking close, right-clicking close, right-click close, etc. which closes them all no problem although it still leaves these here that's the longer way of doing it another way of doing it uh, just to quickly reopen them all I'm just right clicking the case re recursively and asking it to show me them all so they'll all reopen again uh, what I can do if I want to leave my case open but I want to close all of these is just use the control Q keyboard shortcut and after three I will do that and they should all hopefully magically close one two three and they're all gone so that's still open and the memory footprint now will hope to be at less five meg so it's gone down from the 20 meg to five now in this little example <coughs> that's obviously not much memory to talk of but in real life cases where you've maybe got 20 30 40 large forensic images of machines open in here um, where you've recursively explored from the root, your memory footprint might be a bit, a bit higher, so you might want to free some up. So, Control Q, keyboard shortcut to close them all straight away. 